Still using sticky notes and old desk phones to manage your business calls? Well, it's time for an upgrade for you. Meet 3CX. The phone system that lives on your laptop, runs on your mobile, and handles calls like a five-star receptionist, minus the coffee breaks. Stick around because in this tutorial, I'll show you exactly what 3CX is and why it might just be the smartest way to run your business communications. So let's get right to it. First, what is 3CX exactly? It is a business phone system or a PBX designed for small to large businesses and contact centers to manage calls easily. And the best part is you don't have to rely on advanced tech hardware. You can install the app on your phone or add it to your desktop and you're good to go. And if you want to, you can use your voice over IP or VOIP or VoIP phones or like trunk phones to connect them to your 3CX and use them there. So you might be asking, how exactly is 3CX different from like Zoom Meeting or Google Meet? Aren't they the same? Like making calls online with using your phone or your computer? Well, yeah, but not that much. You see, Zoom or Google Meets are more for meetings. So you have a call or a meeting with your colleagues or your partners, for example and you have limited functionalities. But with 3CX as a business phone system, you get lots of features, like for example, call waiting, queuing line, and voicemail amongst others, which are not available on conference software like Google Meet or Zoom and others. So you get the idea. It is good to run your business and manage your communications. Now here, if you go to the website, that's 3CX.com, you can see here some snippets of the different features offered to you. So you get the pricing as an annual license cost, no per user pricing, which is pretty good. So you pay a flat fee. And of course, depending on the number of users, it's not unlimited, but it is good to pay one time fee and use it for the set number of users that you subscribe to. Now let's go ahead and see the pricing pretty quickly. If I go here and click on pricing, you can see here that you have two licenses, the 3CX Pro and 3CX ENT. Now you need to select the number of users. So between 11 and 25 users, and you can select the number of users that of course you want to use 3CX for, and they'll give you here the annual license. So for me, if I choose like 11 to 25 users, I should pay an annual license of $350. Of course, this goes up as the number of user go up. Now you can add additional features like annual hosting add support. And if you want, you can add AI, but this is launching soon. Now, the good thing is that you can try 3CX for free for one month. Let's go ahead and try it. And you can sign up with Google or email. I'm going to sign up with Google because it's easier. And I need to add some information like company, country, language, phone number. So I'm going to add them pretty quickly. Okay. And once I added everything, let's go ahead. Okay. I need to add the like number of users, let's say 11 to 25 next. And now I need to select my hosting. If I need to have three CX host, of course, this costs extra fees. If I have a private cloud or on premise, which will require me to install three CX, let's say self hosted. Okay, next. Okay, here I need to add my host name and I choose the domain here and then continue with the steps. Okay, so I added like a host name here. Next. Okay, let's select our set an extension. Let's say two or three digits, two digits. Next. Okay, looks like it's good here. Next. Okay, choose my platform. Let's say Google. Okay, and now I am in. So you can add a system from here, click to add a system. And the good thing is that if you have less than 10 users, you get three CX SMB for free hosted by three CX. Let's go with that. Great. Now my three CX is ready. Now here I should use this username and password. 
in order to log in. So I'm going to copy the password and then use the username to log in here. So click on login. Okay. Email. And then I'll paste the password and then login. And here they are asking me to download the app on my phone. Okay. Not right now. So I'm into my main dashboard right here. Here you have the users. You can add user. You can view and edit or delete or import users. Here you have the voice and chat where you can see all your chats here. Outbound rules, office hours. You can set office hours. Here you can see the call handling settings and the reports and event log. And in the teams here, you can view your team. In the chat here, you can view all your chats or start a new chat. In the meet here, you can set up your meeting preferences and you can start a meeting or self test if you want to. Now in the calls tab here or the calls option, you can see that there are no calls and you can make a call right here. If you click on the call button at the top right, you can enter a name or a number to call them. And here you have your main panel where you can see all your calls details. You have your contacts. Of course, I don't have any as of now. You have your voicemail and you have your account settings. And here you have your admin settings as well as some apps you can install. Now you can install the Google Chrome extension if you want to by clicking here and install now. And in here you have the general settings. You will have the call forwarding settings. You can set a custom status message. You can set a no answer timeout by default. It's 20 seconds. You can forward external calls to voicemail or choose, for example, my mobile. Of course, you need to add your mobile number because I didn't add it and forward internal calls to same out as all calls or voicemail in this case. So if you want to forward external and internal calls to different destinations, if you are busy or not registered, you can forward external calls and internal calls to you can select. Now here, if you are away in do not disturb, you can also uh, like forward internal and external calls. So basically, depending on your status, you can set the forwarding calls preferences here. Now here you have three CX talk settings. Of course, this is my link name, talk URL and meet URL that I can copy and share. Here you have your chat settings. You have the audio and video settings and it's asking me to allow access to the microphone to configure the microphone. In the view here, you can view your team settings and other settings as well for active calls. The greetings settings, these will play by default or if you are available, away, do not disturb, launch and business trip. And finally, you have the integration settings. You can set up CRM or customer relationship management integration as well as BLF settings right here. So you can control all the settings and all the preferences of your account from there. So this was like a quick overview of the benefits of the 3CX platform, what it is and how to set it up for your business.